everybody um, <laughs> want to uh, share some next steps for, for us oh, can I call you here in Watsonville. Uh, we have uh, somebody on council, uh, council member Vanessa Quiroz Carter, who is a champion for a ceasefire resolution, but she needs two other council members to be on board to get a special meeting um, to call for a ceasefire resolution. Now that we have Oakland uh, that has passed a ceasefire resolution, we have language that's palatable enough for our council. But at this point, our, our goal is to get this resolution passed and join the other cities across the United States that have been calling for a ceasefire resolution. So in order to do that, we need everybody here who lives within the district or the city limits of Watsonville to send emails to your representatives. And better yet, try uh, requesting a meeting with these um, uh, council members and let us know if you get that meeting so that we can support you and show up with you. So there's three council members in particular who we have identified as most likely to be persuaded and that is Eduardo Montesino who is the mayor, that is Maria Orozco, oh, and Eduardo Montesino is in District 1. Um, so if you don't know what district you're in, please come check out these maps. Um, we have Maria Orozco in District 3 and Crystal Salcido in District 4. Um, email your district representatives even if those aren't your, your reps because every email that gets sent is on the record and shows the community support that we want a ceasefire now, that Watsonville is in solidarity with the people of Gaza and there is a way to find a solution without the endless siege and bombing of civilians and children. So, <laughs> I have a yeah. question. What if you work in Watson? I'm just over the line. Okay. So, what, if you aren't in a district, you can email your county board of supervisors representative. So, if you live within Watsonville, what was it, from Green Valley to River Street, you can email. Um, Felipe. Felipe Hernandez. Yes. Felipe Hernandez. You can email him as your county board of supervisor. In fact, he's probably the most likely board of supervisor. Um, member who's going to do something about this. So uh, if you live in Watsonville but you're not in a specific district, please email Felipe Hernandez. In fact, call. Call their office and request a meeting. Um, if you live in an unincorporated area somewhere else in the county, it's still worth emailing your district supervisor. If you um, check out this QR code that we have, it will send you to a template with everybody's emails, all the electeds emails. So check out this QR code. It'll take you to a link tree and you can find a template that you just copy and paste. Um, both City of Santa Cruz and City of Watsonville have meetings on December 12th. That's a Tuesday. Please mark your calendars December 12th. Regardless of this issue gets on the agenda or not, we're going to pack the public comment. We're going to stuff that city uh, chambers with uh, like us with signs regardless if this is an agenda item or not, because we want to show the city of Watsonville that this is an issue that Watsonville residents care about, Santa Cruz residents care about, Santa Cruz County residents care about, and beyond. We are trying to form a larger Central Coast coalition. Um, so you can find out more information about us um, at, at our IG, palestinesolidarity.cc, or again, check out this QR code to learn how to get involved with Palestine Solidarity Central Coast. One more thing to share, y'all, is that December 8th is another um, National Day of Action for Palestine Solidarity. So also that's another day to mark your calendars, December 8th. Um, and stay tuned on our Instagram um, to find out what's coming up then. Um, but those are two dates, December 8th and December 12th.
Do you want to pay? Cease fire now! 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 Cease fire now!
Do it again. Like I flipped the bird. Free, free, free Palestine! Palestine, to Mexico! These border walls have got to go!
trying to get people out. Come on, Bob! You want to get a How many kids did you kill today?
Stop it!